Okay, so I've been having this problem with the Elgato capture card and not being able to record game chat. And right now I'm using the OBS software. So, and there hasn't been a, really any videos on this on how to record game chat with Elgato software plus OBS. So this tutorial is gonna be mainly focused on the software OBS and the device, the Elgato capture card. The reason I don't use the Elgato software anymore is just because of the fact that hell god oh the software corrupts my videos a lot so i don't like using it but this video also will help people who use the elgato use the elgato software because it's kind of some of the same stuff and the same concepts so um and there's two different ways to do this two if one if you one the first way i'm gonna show you is if you have the chat link and the other way i'm gonna show you is if you don't have the chat link all right so I have my software already open. So you have to still have the original Elgato software to be able to configure settings with the Elgato device. It's weird, I know it's weird that OBS doesn't have a way to do this, but it is what it is, all right? So with this, you have to go to the settings, right? What I just did, and then switch it to analog. Now analog, we switch it to analog, this is for the chat link because the chat link is analog. And for some reason, the Elgato software can't record both analog and HDMI. HDMI is just the game audio itself, and analog is what you're saying, plus game audio, plus game chat. So it's kind of weird. Also, so certain games separate the two as well, which we're going to talk about later once I switch to my Xbox. You see my, my device is currently at Xbox One. So you switch to analog, and you think that's the that's it. You think that you fixed everything wrong. The next problem you're gonna run into is that your game audio is not gonna be heard at all. So you go to audio, and see as you see, I've already done this. So it was at zero, and I was at 12 dB. And when you put it to 12 dB, you're gonna hear everything. And also, you gotta turn the game audio all the way up. So you gotta also do this, and then you're gonna start here seeing the the peaks before. You know, you won't be able to see the peaks as an example for me just because my OBS, my Elgato is connected to my OBS right now and you can't use two softwares at the same time. So that's just how it is right now. So once you do that, you're done. You just go to OBS and OBS, it will also pick up the audio, audio peaks as well. All right, so that's for the chat link. All right. Now we're gonna go to if you don't have a chat link. So go, go back to, I'm gonna go back to HDMI. And if you go back to HDMI, just make sure that your audio is at zero. So just leave it at that. And if you feel like you need to, then go back and go back to previous steps and mess with the audio with the HDMI uh, on instead of the analog. So you do that. And now I'm going to be switching to my Xbox. One thing I do want to add about analog audio is that the analog audio also picks up your headset instead of your commentary mic. So right now I have my commentary mic plugged in, which is a Blue Yeti. Um, if you have analog on, it also picks up the, the headset you're using to talk to your friends. So um, if you're using two microphones for commentary, you it might be some weird effects to that just because that there's two different qualities they you're sometimes your gaming headset is not going to be as clear as your blue yeti microphone headset so or any headset or not headset but any microphone that you use on the desktop so keep that in mind will when using analog you might want to mute your commentary mic while doing it so that's one thing i just wanted to add for the analog now we're on the xbox i'm not gonna go too much into detail on how to set up Elgato with OBS. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. There's a lot of videos that already teach you how to set it up, but there was one thing that I had a problem with, so it's gonna be the next video. But this is if you already have your Elgato set up and everything, and you got your, you know, you got your stuff set up. You already got your commentary mic set up and stuff like that. But, all right, so for the Xbox, uh, if you wanna use HDMI audio and you wanna use pickup party chat slash game chat, you're gonna go into your settings and then you're going to want to go into audio output and then change it to either speakers or headset and speakers. I have it at headset and speakers just so I can hear both. Just because if you put it to speakers, I think you won't be able to hear anything in your headset. So keep that in mind and then keep all this stuff the same. Don't really mess with anything. All right. That's for your Xbox settings. Now, 
What I found out is because I've played a lot of Modern Warfare, as you can see if you watch my channel or if you're new here and you've seen my tutorials on how to get the masks and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm just going to games right quick and go, on, go into Modern Warfare. I've had pro I had a problem with Modern Warfare and Game Chat for a while, and I've been trying to record Game Chat on Modern Warfare for the longest because I have so many priceless reactions, especially in search. So there's a, there was a lot of things I had troubles with this game. So only I was only able to record part of chat, as you can see for a lot of the videos that I've done. It was only part of chat and none of Game Chat. Okay, so now we're in Modern Warfare. I've loaded it up, and what the thing that I found out was, if you go into your audio settings, and then you, I don't think this, I'm pretty sure this was not here before, but if you go to uh, voice chat device, it's it's gonna be automatically on headset, and the re and that's the reason why you can't hear it through through um, through HDMI audio. So you gotta switch it to speakers and that's what i did i switched it to speakers and then you're able to hear a game chat using hdmi audio and i just could all you gotta do is then configure uh, these are my settings that i like to use when in game chat just because uh, for some reason like it's a little soft people talk people in game chat are a little bit soft talking to me when i hear them and then my microphone isn't as loud if i ever want to use analog audio which i rarely ever do but yeah, that's the only thing that you really need to do to have game chat talk to you, to uh, you able to hear game chat. A lot of games don't have this type of setting on there. And a lot of the games automatically, when you have your Xbox settings go into, um, for instance, uh, game chat, automatically it goes through, goes through the HDMI cord. If you go use your Xbox settings to go, okay headset and speakers but this game for some reason is separated and you have to go into the settings itself and switch it to speakers so it'll be able to go through speakers with your xbox settings so a lot of the time so if any game you ever find a problem where you are trying to record game chat and it's just not working but it works for other games Go into the audio setting to see if it has a setting similar to this. When it has a voice chat, separate, go to headset, go into headset and um, speakers. So do see if there's a setting like that and then switch to the speakers and then the problem should be fixed. Because a lot of my games that I have, they don't have a setting like this and it automatically goes through the speakers just because of how my Xbox settings are outputted. So, but if the game doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have... A setting like this and you have HDMI on and you have your sp or your uh, everything playing through the speakers in the headset then you might have to use the analog for that game just for the fact that they don't have that setting and the game is like that so I didn't personally know that games could do that I thought Xbox like overruled like the settings in the game but I guess not it's just, well just because of this, this is cross-platform so it might work the same for Fortnite if you have problems with Fortnite as well. But that's it. That's everything. Like I literally found this out yesterday, and I was like, told my friends like, "Hey, did you see this setting there?" He's like, "I I just saw it when you just said something." So I switched to the speakers, and then you're able to hear game chat completely crystal clear for OBS and the Elgato. Now, let me go back to why I like HDMI over analog. Just because HDMI is a lot clearer, you're not gonna have that many issues unless your HDMI cord is messed up. So your audio is always gonna be clear just because it's coming straight from the source of the TV. And with analog, just because it's an aux cable, the aux cable is way f is uh, fragile and you're gonna be hearing a lot of noise if you make a lot of bumps and movements. So that's why I don't like using analog. The only time I will ever use analog is if I'm using a voice changer and just and I I sometimes I voice troll but I would just give you I would give you an example of if you want to record like your voice changer and you're like doing a voice trolling video and the course for that so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just give you an example for that okay so this is everything you would need to record a voice changer with also I forgot to add a couple things like 
the headset, of course, and the controller. But if you have the adapter, one thing I forgot about to I forgot to add for if you're using recording analog for audio, if you have this adapter, it will not the analog audio will not work. So you're gonna want to take this adapter off and use the headphone jack that's inside the controller that's already in there for the analog to work. So keep that in mind. That's why I have that out there. Now uh, here's the chat link. As you can see, if you already know how to set up the chat link, then you can just skip ahead in the video and just go towards the end. But uh, this part goes into the controller, the three ring part. If it would focus, yeah, this is the three ring part. It goes into the controller. And this, this female part, this goes, this is for your headset and your microphone that you're talking to people with. And this right here, which is the long male two, uh, two ring part, this goes into the, if it would focus focus for me this goes into the wait oh sorry wrong chord this this two this male this male two two ring part if it would focus this goes into the elgato and i don't think it wants to focus but you get the point two rings it goes to the elgato and for this is what you would need if you want to separate your if you want to separate your mic and your headset uh, for it. So this is a splitter for uh, headphones and microphones. It usually will have like a symbol that says uh, see that says headphone full focus. Yeah, that has headphone and that has uh, that has microphone. Now I have a second phone and I have applications on here that changes my voice. So you're gonna have to have a microphone that already has a voice altering, uh, voice altering application in it. Or like I said, use a phone. Cause I'm using my phone technically as my microphone. As you can see this headphone, this, au this auxiliary cable is connected to the, uh, the microphone part of the splitter. And I'm using my, the phone as a microphone. So that's what I do to, if I want to record a voice trolling video and I want to record the voice trolling in the software as long as have my have the reaction people reacting to the voice uh, trolling here so that just makes everything simpler so you don't have to separate audio tracks and have to do this whole process of recording everything and put everything to every match everything together everything's connected so um two apps I recommend for uh for if using a phone as a microphone for voice trolling is Vocalo and Robux, Robo, Robobux. Just because I'm using a console and not a PC, that's, this is the only way to record a voice trolling video on console. Okay, that pretty much sums up how to record game chat with two different ways, both with the analog and the chat link and with HDMI audio as well. So hopefully this video um, is helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how to do certain things or if I didn't explain anything too clearly or something else just completely out of the ordinary happened wrong. Um, like I said, I hope this video helped you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends who also have troubles recording game chat with certain games like Call of Duty or Fortnite. And I'll talk to y'all guys later. Peace.